Hey y'all, Toad here. All right, well, some of you who've been following the channel might recognize that two meter antenna I built a while back. And uh, this is kind of the second installment of the antenna building uh, for this two meter Slim Jim J-Pole hybrid thingy. And uh, I want to start this with a couple of shout outs. Um, first, WTF SoCal. SoCal, you know, I'll put these, these will be down, you know, in there as they usually are. But, um, you know, you don't very often get these kind of things done when you know as little as I do without some help. And uh, there was a lot of people, but the two I want to mention is SoCal and uh, AZ Papa Les, who will also pop up here or whatever. Anyway, uh, Les not only gave me some invaluable advice, but was kind enough to let me borrow that uh, MFJ analyzer, which just made all the difference in the world. Um, I had some trouble <clears throat> with the other analyzer I was trying to use, and that one just made everything great. Well, here is the antenna. I had it up in a tree. Later on in the video, when this is all done, I'll show where I'm keeping this antenna right now. But uh, for this video, this is about going from the building testing phase into kind of the finished product. So what I did is I put it up in a tree the way it was going to be used, at least now, and using the movable uh, feed point little tuning apparatus that I built, I got it down to one to one and have marked the spot where now I'm going to go ahead and finish the antenna into more of its finished thing, uh, you know, the way it's going to look when it's done. And this apparatus will get used to when we build and tune more of these antennas. There's at least two more of these I know that are going to get built here locally. Uh, and the other one thing other I want to show you was uh, I wanted an adjustable air gap. And I saw a lot of different ways to do it. And this is just how I ended up doing it. That's just a little piece of brass that right now is just stuck on their electrical tape. And uh, you can't really see that well. But I was able to move that piece of brass back and forth to really fine tune uh, the antenna, that air gap right there. And I was just using tape temporarily. And uh, as part of today's video, we're going to go ahead and finish all that up and permanently mount everything. So let me get started and I'll bring you back during phases of what I'm doing here. All right. So it's pretty much ready to go back up in the tree now. You can see there's some, uh, there's some changes and we'll go over them. All right, well, the first one was, uh, remember this little fine tuner in the air gap? You know, after just looking at this and realizing how much I'd have to heat up to braise that on there and taking a chance of melting the plexi here, I just decided not to do it on this antenna. And uh, I just put some more tape on there, got it wound up pretty tight. That's exterior grade, <laughs> whatever that means, electrical tape. So. Let's keep an eye on that and see how far it goes. Um, the main body, well, you can see it's now it's a big piece of plexiglass. And I'm hoping this does a few things, but we'll just go over step by step. The, uh, the hole here and the hole here, right now, this hole, I'm um, probably going to put, well, it's so I can put another line on this, because remember, this is going back up in a tree for a while. Uh, temporarily so I can tie a line to this and kind of tie it off to keep it from swinging around too much and uh, up there because of the where the two elbows come together there's a little bit of a crease uh, I decided not to put a second piece of plexiglass but you could you could put another smaller piece like this and maybe have a little triangular shape with a with a hole there to hang it from and rivet it up that might be better but I don't know for right now I think this is okay and uh, these are obviously the feed points, and they're they're at the mark, and they're just uh, in this case I believe they're inch and a half. They're stainless steel, quarter inch, and I've got the bolt head, and you can't really see it well, but there's a star washer there. There's a uh, split washer in between, and that was just to you know kind of even it out because of the uh, the difference in height, the diameter of the pipe, and the diameter of the uh, fitting left a little bit of a gap there. I just kind of wanted to even that out. And it kind of tightens everything up. And then there's another <clears throat> quarter inch nut right there with a 
star washer, and then the last nut, which is of course loose. And that's where we'll put the, uh, the two feed points. And these holes, like I said, you saw this one for the bottom, and I got one here, and I'm thinking maybe in the future when I put this up on the tower, um, I'll probably have like a one inch piece of stainless steel pipe and I can put a, I don't know, maybe a U-bolt this way, drill another hole here to attach it to the, to the mast. But, you know, we get there, we'll worry about it. And these are just, you know, obviously they're cable keepers just to try and keep everything tight. All right, well, let me get this thing all hooked up and uh, we'll see, we'll be back when we've got the, the wire and everything on. Okay, well, there's the tree and there's the antenna. I guess the uh, bottom of it's about 10 or 11 feet in the air and uh, it's just hanging from the tree there. Not very high at all, but, uh, and it's kind of leaning on that branch, but it's really cold out here right now, rainy. It's actually sleeting a little bit and uh, maybe later I'll get my two-story ladder out and get it up higher in the tree. I've got more cable and I'll, I'll just as high as I can climb. But for right now, that's where, that's where it is, and that's where it was when I tested it out. And uh, it's getting out, gosh, 45, 50 miles. No problem thus far. All right. Thanks, y'all. See you next time.